Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to quickly introduce myself and my awesome team. I'm Raihan, currently teaching mathematics and programming at Pusat Asasi Science, University Malaya. Dr. Zahurin is my colleague, a senior lecturer and teaching mathematics and programming as well. And our team leader, Dr. Hood Camry, is a senior lecturer at the Education Faculty of University Malaya. His expertise is in mathematics education, technology in education, and data analysis. Today, on behalf of my team, I'd like to present our research project with the title, The Development of My OTG, The Views of Experts, Lecturers, and Students. Okay, let's start with our background of study. In the current situation, resilient skills are important in the learning of mathematics at every school level, including the university level. This is because we want to produce students who are more creative and critical thinking, and finally yielded more new knowledge and new great innovation created in the future. In addition, to make the teaching and learning environment more interactive, I think the use of technology in teaching and learning is very important. Nowadays, there are many software applications used in mathematics learning, such as a Photomat, Symbol Lab, GeoGebra, Sketchpad, Mathematica, and whatnot. Moreover, with the use of technology in teaching and learning, the integration of IR 4.0 occurs in education. Okay, let's move on to our problem statements. Okay, through our research and observation, we found that uh, most lecturers prefer conventional methods in their teaching. What I mean by uh, conventional methods here is teaching using slides, whiteboards, and almost the entire class time lecturer is speaking. Usually students only receive all the information without giving them a space to think. As a result, students tend to memorize without real understanding. For the topic of propositional logic, most students do not appreciate the topic, including me actually when I was a student. Students are unable to make sense of the propositions or statements involved in the subject of mathematics. As I mentioned earlier, there is a lot of software or applications are provided currently. However, most of them are providing answers or solutions to students instead of triggering students to think. Besides, we also found a lack of students' involvement in online as well as offline classes. Therefore, instilling reasoning skills, uh, I think, in teaching and learning would be um, a bit challenging. Uh, next, the objective of our research are first to develop my OTG with the purpose of enhancing mathematical reasoning efficiency among pre university students. Secondly, to investigate the effectiveness of my OTG in enhancing mathematical reasoning competency among pre university students. Let's have a look at our conceptual uh, framework. In the development of my OTG, we involved cognitive theory and Bloom taxonomy. We refer to a DDR approach in our study. This one, okay. As we know that the, uh, that DDR approach has three phases, which is the first uh, first one is need analysis, the second one design and development, the last part, uh, the last phase is evaluation. Okay, in the first phase, here we are aiming um, to identify the problems and also the users. Then the second phase is the main part of our study, actually. Okay, this is a process that we went through in this phase is to analyze the contents, identify the learning objectives, determine the teaching strategies to be applied, design and develop uh, my OTG, also develop a few instruments to be used in this study. Finally, uh, once development is complete, okay, once it's complete, and then we move on to the third phase, which is evaluation. In this phase, we tested my OTG using quasi-experimental design. It involved two groups of students. Okay, one group learning using the my OTG method and the other using the conventional method. Okay, let's move on, uh, move on to the part of methodology. According to DDR approach, in the first phase, need analysis, we interviewed five lecturers and five students with the purpose to identify the problems in teaching and learning for the topic of propositional logic. And uh, for information, all of them, 
that uh, we interviewed actually from Pusat Asasi Science University Malaya. Okay, next in the second phase, after we went through the process, as I explained previously, here the MyOTG is completely developed. Okay, let me introduce briefly how the MyOTG works. Okay, let's... Uh, Second. Can you see my my screen? Not can I? Yes. Okay. You can see the screen. Okay, nice. Okay, my OTG uh, stands for my online teaching with GeoGebra. These are the tools used in this method, which is a GeoGebra, Microsoft Teams. Um, Microsoft Whiteboard, Microsoft Sway, and Microsoft OneNote. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. The GeoGebra applet is a key part of this method. Okay. If, as you can see here, there is a law here. Actually, we designed these laws and we put in this applet. Okay. De Morgan's law. Okay. Conditional law. The converse, inverse, and contrapositive laws. And last one is a biconditional law. We choose this actually, uh, the laws that I think um, is quite difficult to student understand. Okay. And then, uh, as you can see here, there's a Venn diagram, right? Conventionally, all of these laws are introduced by giving all formulas to students and using truth tables. However, in the my OTG method, we use the Venn diagram approach and students have to identify the formulas on their own through particular activities planned in the TNL. We let the student explore first, uh, not just simply like we just like um, fed them all the uh, formula list or the list of formula. Okay. Hang on. Oops. Okay, sorry. Okay, here I give one example of the activities that I have done uh, in the class. Okay, students are given these three statements. Okay, initially, students need to use their human logic to determine which statement three or four, three or four, is equivalent to uh, the statement one. Okay, after that, after they choose uh, which one, and then uh, we brought uh, we bring the students uh, to the GeoGebra applet that I showed earlier. Okay, now students are asked to represent uh, each proposition from the statements given previously to a symbol. Okay, like and this one, a change. We just pick uh, a piece from the statement, like the Emilia is uh, smart. Sorry, Emilia is smart. And then Emilia is hardworking. Sorry, it's hardworking. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see the changes occurred here? It, it changed automatically once we change the, the uh, representation here. Okay, and then the not P is Emilia is not smart. And Emilia is not hardworking. Okay, then, okay, then the lecturer will ask students uh, to focus on the logical statements only, okay, don't focus the statements anymore, just focus the logical statements, okay, and then we will ask students to draw the Venn diagram, we start with the P and Q and P or Q, the simple one first, they will draw on their own, on their piece, on a piece of paper or whatever in the iPad, uh, and then, uh, after then they have done, okay, we review the answers. After that, we will ask students to draw all this. If you notice here, the uh, number one, number two, num uh, number two, three, four. The previous statements I gave just now is one, three, and four. Okay, and then we ask students to draw the Venn diagram on their own. Okay, after they have done, okay, we reveal the answers 
I mean, uh, uh, review the answers, okay? And then we'll ask students, okay, through the Venn diagram, what you can conclude here, which one is equivalent to equal, uh, statement one? Okay, obviously here we can see that through the Venn diagram, the statement for equal, equal to, equivalent to this first statement. Then, only then they can uh, uh, identify, okay, what the De Morgan's law is, okay? Okay, let's go back to our slide. Okay, nice. Okay, next we'll be looking at, um, we move on to the third phase, which is evaluation. To test the MyOTG, we use the quasi experimental design. It has been conducted uh, to determine the effectiveness of MyOTG on mathematical reasoning of the propositional logic topic. There were three pre-university students involved. 15 students represented the experimental group and another 15 students uh, represented the control group. And basically the experimental group will use uh, the MyOTG method while um, the control group will use the conventional teaching method. Okay. Then next we move on to uh, the results and discussion. We go phase by phase. Okay, for the first phase, the findings we obtained, the students had difficulty understanding the formula. And also in the classroom, only whiteboards and slides were used. The use of the, source, uh, the software is also uncommon in the classroom. In addition, there were never any interactive class activities implemented. However, our students actually like to do activities and involvement of any software in teaching and learning. Also, they, they, they request to the they request to the lectures to diversify the classroom activities so that the teaching and learning become more interactive. Okay, then we move to the second phase. Okay, we also involve fifteen students, ten lecturers, and four experts to evaluate our product. The result shows uh, that uh, all the parties are agreed on my OTG. As we can see here, all scores exceed 70%. Okay. Finally, in the third phase, the my OTG was tested by using a quasi experimental des design. The result of the, let me, okay, this is the result. Okay, the result of the Wilcoxon sign rank test shows that. There are significant differences in students' propositional logic before and after using the my OTG method and the conventional method. However, based on the mean difference of experimental and control groups, it shows that uh, students who learned using the my OTG method were better in mathematical reasoning of propositional logic rather than students who learned using the conventional method. Okay, let's move on um, to the contributions part. The advantages of my OTG are, my OTG can be assessed anytime and anywhere, even we can also apply in offline class. Um, then my OTG gives students a space to think critically and creatively. And then uh, my OTG can increase students' interest in mathematics because of the tools and applications involved. And my OTG also can improve students' mathematical reasoning skills. And also in our study, the DDR approach is successfully developed my UTG to improve students' mathematical reasoning skills. Okay. We are nearing the end of my presentation. Okay, now we are in the last part, which is implications. Implications of my UTG to students are students need to participate actively in the class. Students also need to adapt to this new method of teaching, especially the technology used in this lesson. Each student needs at least a mobile device. Implication to lecturers, lecturers need to be able to use the technologies which are applied in this method of teaching. Lecturers need to plan the lesson well to ensure that all activities run smoothly and the learning objectives are achieved. Okay, implication to institution, the institutions should provide all necessary facilities such as devices, good internet access, Microsoft 365, Joji Browse software and whatnot for the implementation of this method of teaching. 
Okay, last but not least, we would like to thank ADEC for the UM Lighter 2021 grant. Alhamdulillah, recently we were awarded a silver medal for KNOVASI 2021 competition. We also have submitted um, for CRI 2021 competition and the result will be announced in September 2021. Inshallah, next we will participate in NALI 2021 competition. Thank you for your kind attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Dr. Rojita, you have five minutes. Thank you, Ms. Raihan. Hi. Uh, very interesting. And in fact, okay, Dr. Hood, I also sometimes uh, join this class uh, during weekend. Yeah? Dr. Hood, ada sini. Tak ada Dr. Hood, dia nak in. Dia nak masuk. Yes, oh, dia I'm, tak here. Dia ada, I'm ya? here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. But uh, very interesting, definitely uh, your uh, MYOT, MYOT, MYOT. <laughs> yes, will yeah. require uh, training for the educator because not everybody is uh, te uh, technology savvy, number one, number two, and I think student also will, ah, Dr. Hood. Assalamualaikum. Yes. Saya sudah baca juga during weekend, Doktor. Ya. Yeah. Sebab ni uh, keliru lah saya nak komen uh, Sifu punya <laughs> Sifu punya projek ni but very interesting. Very interesting. It's something new. Yes, yeah, so that you Thank know you. it make easier for for decision making bila student nak decide. ya. Yeah. And uh, I sebenarnya tak ada nak komen apa-apa. Is is very is very good. Um, and in fact, we don't have Dr. Aisha. Maybe Dr. Aisha wanted to, uh, to say something, but she's not around. And uh, to the team, congratulations. Uh, very interesting. I hope this can be commercialized. Yeah, it's you. not only for UM. Kita UPNM pun nak juga sistem macam ni kan. So if you can commercialize that, you know, Dr. Zahir memang pandai nak tolong commercialize kan. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, yeah, uh, team Dr. Raihan, Dr. Hood, yeah, and my another one. Uh, the, the